God, come to my assistance. Lord, Lord make, make haste, haste to help me. me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it, it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth will proclaim, proclaim your praise. praise. Come, come, let, let us, us worship, worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. And suffering. O oh God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon the earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Come, come let, let us, us worship, worship Christ, Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come, come let, let us, us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness, you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Come, come let, let us, us worship, worship Christ the Lord, who, who for, for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come, come let, let us, us worship, worship Christ the Lord, who, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. The earth has yielded its fruit. For God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Savior, I come, quiet my soul. Remember, redemption's here where your blood was spilled for my ransom, and everything I once held dear. I count it all as a loss Lead me to the cross Where your love poured out And bring me to my knees Lord, I lay me down And rid me of myself I belong to you Oh, lead me Oh, lead me to the cross To your heart To your heart Lead me to your heart Lord, lead me to your heart Lead me to the cross Where your love poured out And bring me to my knees Lord, I lay me down And rid me of myself I belong to you Oh, lead me Oh, lead me to the cross. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father Lord, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come. Your, your will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
Lord, hear our prayer. And let, let our, our cry, cry come, come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully, grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains, your justice like the deep great. You save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your favor to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of the proud come near me, nor the hand of the wicked push me aside. But when Christ came as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of his creation, he entered once for all into the holy place, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls with the sprinkling of the ashes of a heifer sanctifies those who have been defiled so that their flesh is purified, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to worship the living God? For this reason, he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, because a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions under the first covenant. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he raised from the dead. So the chief priest planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him. This is God's word. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Lord God Almighty, we come before you, 
humbly recognizing our deep need for you, for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace, and your healing touch. Lord, our lives are experiencing deep confusion, loss, and suffering right now. But Lord, in the Psalms, David cries out to you, recognizing that when his soul is cast down and his life is in turmoil, his only hope is in you. God, we know of your faithfulness throughout the generations, and we know, God, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so, Father, would you show us your faithfulness, help our unbelief, lead us to the rock that is higher. Lord God, how comforting for us to know and to remember that you, O oh Lord, make your dwelling among us, that you are our God and we are your people. Holy Spirit, calm our hearts, guard our minds with the peace of Christ, and would you equip us to share our hope with those who need to hear it. May we praise your name forevermore. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.